My entire family is firefighters. We love it. My grandfather was on the job. My father was on the job. My brother is currently on the job. My father was, uh, you know, absolutely awesome. Family always went first, and then right a very close second was the, was the job. I don't ever remember him fully having a mask actually on. He would just take the mask, take a couple hits, and then let it go back down. And that was the way that they were taught back then. We know better now. The mentality, that's the mentality that needs to be better is we have all this equipment, we need to use it properly. I remember walking through the, um, the front door of my parents' house and my brother was sitting on the porch and just in tears. He looked at me, he was kind of just, he says, he's gone, he's gone. He was pronounced right at the scene. That call goes through my head more than any other call I've ever been on. My father was 6'5", he was about 260. And the day we carried him out of the house, unfortunately, he was about 140 pounds. He would come up with an excuse all the time not to go to the doctor. One of his big things, he always said, ah, it's a sinus infection, you know, and he'd take a little bit of Benadryl and, you know, he'd say, oh yeah, it's getting better, it's getting better. We didn't know until, until it was noticeable that he had something going on in his neck. Squamous cell carcinoma is very treatable when it's found early. He let it go so long without going to the doctor, without getting it checked, without getting it fixed, that it gone into the lymph nodes, his jawbone, five teeth, the roof of his mouth, his tonsils and his tongue. It really like sucked the life right out of him. I miss him. I miss him every day. Think about him every day. Miss him every day. I think he'd be proud of us now, you know, my brother and I. I wish I had just one more coffee, one more, one more drink, just for an hour, you know, whatever it was. Early detection is key, we can't say that enough. And he didn't buy into it and it cost him. Get those checkups, don't, don't play a game, don't gamble, because nine out of 10 times, you're not gonna win.